Okay, so we got a 2012 Jeep Patriot. And this has got the CVT transmission, a 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine. And we're just going to go through and we're going to see what modules this scan tool will allow you to replace and configure so that you can take, say, a, a, a new or a used module and possibly be able to swap it into this vehicle and not have to go to the dealer. So we're just going to go ahead and click on control unit. I've already got the uh, vehicle programmed in here. This is the latest Jeep software, 9.2. We'll go to powertrain to start with. We'll go to ECM, and we'll see what we have under ECM. Okay, normally that's going to be under special functions, but I see that we've got ECU configure information. Let's see what that, what that offers. Okay, so that's just the configuration of the ECM. As of the ECM that's in here, this is how it's configured. AC equipped. Now, I don't know why it says false. I mean, I would think that should say true because this vehicle does have AC. I don't know if I went and turned the AC on, if that would then go true. I, I don't know if that's what this is actually saying. Um, but you can clearly see 6.4 liter false. Um, false on all those, false for the 4 liter, there should be like a 2.4 liter, let's see what it says for that, did I, did, I pit, uh, did I pass it? Okay, 2.4 liter, true, so anyway, yeah, this should be where, it tells you how the PCM is actually configured. So now we'll go to special function. And, okay, so we've got check PCM odometer, and I believe all that's going to do is just check it. This function will write the current mileage into the PCM. So, yeah, this is saying that it will write the current mileage into the new PCM. So, you will be able to put the current mileage in, check PCM VIN. Okay, the VIN is valid. Press OK to change the VIN. Press cancel to exit. Okay, so if you needed to change the VIN because you're just putting a new module in, then uh, this is where you do that at. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because we're not doing that. Now, this is also, there's another option down here, set VIN. <clears throat> this, uh, this, can, this can use, oh, you can use this function to read and write the VIN. This function only supports new ECU to write VIN. And the old ECU doesn't support this function. Okay. So keep that in mind. Uh, at least what this is saying, this is only going to be for a new ECU. So I don't know if you're just putting in a used one, if you'd be able to use this here. I didn't mean to actually click that, but because um, this didn't actually specify whether new or used. So I'm assuming you could write the VIN under this option. If it was, say, a junkyard uh, PCM. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and back out of that because I didn't mean to hit that. So there it does look like you can change the PCM on this 2012 Patriot. Uh, now the TCM. That's another important one that you want to be able to do if you need to. So we'll do special functions. Configuration is probably going to be the same thing as uh, under the PCM. <clears throat> okay, there's a TCM initialization. Sometimes that will actually fix, a, if you have a shifting issue, just go through a new initial, uh, initialization. Sometimes, man, that thing fixes it right up. I don't know if the configuration gets corrupt or whatever, and, and maybe the transmission forgets the proper ways to shift, and you just go through an, a new initialization and then bam it, it the transmission's back shifting normal again but it does look like set VIN uh, if you was needing to put a new uh, ECU in for this uh, transmission you'd be able to do that does again say supports only new ECM I have yet to do this so I don't know if you actually went to try to put it used one in 
if it would actually go ahead and do it or if it if it would fail. And then the only other option up here is that reset ECU. And I think, don't quote me on this, I think that's basically the same thing as disconnecting the battery and hooking the battery back up. It just basically reboots the ECU. The, uh, ECU. But I may be wrong about that. And this vehicle does not have all-wheel drive, so uh, it's not going to be able to find an ECU for the all-wheel drive. We'll go ahead and do body. Uh, airbag is always a good one. You know, a lot of vehicles, if you get in a crash and there's an airbag deployment, you have to either reset or replace the uh, ECU. Okay. And it does look like it says set VIN. Probably going to say supports new only. Um, new ECU. So, yeah. But it does look like you'd have that option if you didn't need to reset it. I mean, replace it, you'd be able to. Now, it also says reset ECU. A lot of vehicles, when there's an airbag deployment, you either have to reset the ECU or replace it. So, this does show reset ECU. Um, so, if you did replace an airbag, you should be able to just go in and reset the ECU and you're back to good again. Your light should be out. The original ECU would be able to control the, the new airbag and everything. But if not, you can always replace it. HVAC. Uh, there's the ECU configuration information again. We'll go ahead and hit special function. And, of course, we got the reset ECU, and then there's the set bin. Uh, I'll go ahead and click on it. Probably going to be the same thing we've been seeing. Only supports new ECUs. Again, don't know if you was to try to put a used one in, if you'd be able to get by with it or not. Central Gateway. Normally, that's like the tip them, I believe. I believe what they call the central gateway is basically the tip them. TIPM is the tip them. Um, don't we got two pages worth here? I don't see. Okay. So yeah, there's the set bin. So again. And the reason a lot of these need to know the VIN is it needs to know, so the VIN has a lot of, and it's got a lot of the information about the car, transmission, engine size, uh, you know, uh, things like that, that these ECUs need to know to be able to know, okay, well, how, how do I need to work? Because they can use the same ECU in multiple vehicles depending on, uh, various engine and transmission configurations. So you put the VIN in, then it sets the, you know, the basically the base per parameters up for the uh, the ECU to know how to how to work, how to you know make the engine run right, transmission shift right. That's the importance of the VIN. Uh, instrument cluster. So here again, set VIN. Um, I don't know if that is, if you're actually replacing the cluster or if there's an actual module. But either way, you're able to do it. It does appear. And that was for the, uh, you know, it's calling it the MIC slash CCN, Mechanical Instrument Cluster. So there you get, have that TPMS. WCM replaced, that's wireless control module, and set VIN, uh, and reset ECU. So, I want to click PCM replaced. After the PCM has been replaced, use this function. Okay, so that's where you'd go there. WCM replaced, probably going to give us the same option. Use this function, the WCM has been replaced. Ignition should be in the run position. The wireless control module is what your... Uh, the key fobs 
work off of. And then set bin. It uses function read and write bin. Okay, so again, new ECU. So there's the options for the wireless control module, the uh, what they're calling a PCM, and then uh, of course the set bin. So you are able to change those modules out. Intrusion transceiver module. Yeah, that's. I was thinking that wasn't going to detect anything. ABS, I'm sure we're going to be able to change the ABS module if we need to. So far, this has uh, let us do pretty much anything we need to. Of course, you got an ABS initialization. And then, of course, you got your set bin. I'm not even going to click on it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to click on it. Yep, same thing. Claims no ECU only, so keep that in mind. Uh, and steering angle. And, of course, no options there. I don't know if the steering angle, if it, I don't think it's got its own actual module. I think it probably goes straight to the PCM, I would think, but I don't know, or the tip them. And there you have it. All the modules that uh, this particular scan tool will allow you to change out on this Jeep Patriot 2012 model. So, anyway... That's pretty much all I got. You guys take care.